What up, Sack Nation? Welcome to another episode of Road to the Top Table, where your boy, Zach Everest, is playing these meta call decks, um, deck lists I'm getting from top players, deck lists that are competitive, deck lists that you should try at your League Cups, try at your Regionals. Um, today we're looking at Expanded, just got back from Daytona Regionals. Um, this is the exact list I was going to play. I checked it out, got scared of fire, didn't play it. Um, I practiced over a hundred matches with this th uh, with this list. I found real success with it, and I checked out. I thought fire was going to be very prevalent, and I wasn't going to be able to take it down. Um, so I jumped ship and went with Blastoise, and it didn't turn out so good. So. Just definitely stick with something you know, something you practice with. So let's get into it. Like I said, this is a this is an expanded Metagross list. Um, we're playing a four two four Metagross. Metagross has Geotech system. Geotech system um, attaches an energy from your discard pile to your active. It has to be steel or psychic. Um, and expanded, you you get tools. You get a lot of different tools that you can mix with this. Um, and one of those tools is Aegislash. Aegislash has the Mighty Shield ability, which makes it vulnerable or invulnerable from uh, Pokemon that have special energy. In the expanded format, that is huge right now. There's many decks like Gyarados and, and Seismitoad and um, Night March that only play DCs. Uh, they don't really have a way to get around this. They have the Hex Maniac to get around it. Um, that makes it tough. It makes it real tough match up for them. And you're able to set this up very quickly with the uh, Metagross. So you're doing 40 and 20 for each. So you're hitting for 100, 130 with the choice man. Um, and you can't be hit. Playing two of those. And then we're playing the Spicy Tech. We're playing the Spicy Tyrantrum EX. Um, this was a deck back in the day with, with Bronzong. Um, Dragon Impact does 190. That gives you the ability to hit the 210 number, or the 220 number, uh, taking out the Glissapods, taking out the Espeons, um, all those B big GXs, the Ho-Ohs, the Turginators. you got to be able to hit these numbers, and um, don't get me wrong, Metagross hits big, gets you that 180, gets you those EXs, but this will give you the... The bigger numbers and it gets through anything um, there's no safeguard there's no um, shell trap nothing it's attack gets through anything um, yeah you probably notice it needs the fighting energy but we do play two blend blend's gonna give us the water the fighting the steel and the electric so well uh, that comes in clutch um, we're playing Vulpix, Vulpix is very key in this match, or in this deck period, being able to set up this, uh, set up your Metagrasses, Vulpix, uh, beacon attack for free is, is very key. Um, we're playing the one Alolan Ninetales, baby Alolan Ninetales, for the Volcano matchup. Um, you're already playing the Blade and Energy that gives you the water that you need. Um, for Volcano to get around this, they have to Guzma around you, or... They have to commit three energies to Baby Volcanion and a Steam Up just to take it out. Um, that gives you time to set up and you, you, it makes the matchup a little more favorable. Not much, but it gives you an out. It's not an auto loss at this point. With Tyrantrum, with Lele, and, and the Alolan Ninetales, you have a shot at beating Volcanion. Play into two Battle Compressor. Get rid of your supporters for your via seekers and and to get energy in the discard pile to to geo geotech system early. Um, we're playing computer search, two field bar, and a megaphone. We're not losing the garbage. Plain simple. We cannot if we can't do our abilities, we're we're gonna lose. So we gotta get rid of um, garbage toxin. Um, we're playing three Max Potion. Um, any deck where you discard your energies uh, frequently and reset. Um, 
damage, uh, resetting damage on a 250 HP Pokemon is very devastating um, for your opponent to come back on that. So we're playing three of those. We have three rare candies. We're going to be beaking a lot. So beaking, rare candy. Um, either way, you're going to you're, you're gonna find ways. So we only play three. Um, we have one rescue stretcher. You know, four Ultra Ball, four Via Seeker, one Bridget, one Guzma, uh, two and three Juniper, and a Skyla. Skyla is very clutch. You play a lot of key items in this deck, like your Max Potion, your Candies, starting Megaphones, um, your Choice Bands. Um, sometimes you just need that one item. That one item will get you that knockout, or will get rid of the Garbotoxin, will get you that extra Metagross you need. Um, uh, get let you heal so but the one sky is very clutch in this deck and like I said we play the blend energy for the water for the for the fighting and the steel um, still works the steel principle if you don't use it for this and, or you don't use it for this uh, it still works as steel energy you just can't geo geo system it um, once you have three energies in your discard pile you don't really have to worry about um, having to geo system that Overall, I think the deck has very great matchups um, against a lot of the competitive decks. Um, Night March is very favorable matchup just because of this. Um, also, having 250 HP um, makes it very hard for them to knock you out. Um, Garbodor is uh, I mean, Garbodor is a problem. Trash launch is a thing, but um, you have 250 HP. Um, you play a lot of field blowers, and a lot of guys of this are playing tons of tons of um, special energy rainbows and, and blend, and that they have a problem getting around this. This card's very clutch. So let's just get into a game. Let me show you guys um, the power of the metagrass in expanded. Alright, it looks like we found an opponent. Um, wild energies. So, we'll see. Doesn't look like it was fire, so. Alright, we won the coin flip. We get to go first. Always go first. Learn one thing in the road to the top table. Always go first. Um, we didn't get a basic. Would have been nice. We had the bridge in hand, which is always optimal. We got three starting Pokemon, so. Hopefully we're just as lucky, and we do get the, we do get that, so. here. Really just want to set up our board as quickly as possible. And Gardevoir. So, uh, I'll just get all our buildings up. I have that. Nothing else we really need. For next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good, we're good. We can have we'll set up two Matangs next time. And, and Beacon. Uh, unfortunately, we get end, but it is what it is. Yep. This is good. This is really good in this matchup too. So if we can get that going, be nice. I'll touch here. Don't really want to second one of that. So we're just gonna beacon. We'll get the two matangs and pass. Ben's playing a wild list. Um, Voltorb. Hmm, what is going on here? Well, I got uh, any regional 
you never know what you're going to run into. So even when you play lists like this, um, you want to play your deck optimally. Um, make the plays that you would play if you're playing against any deck. You know, um, play the multi switch here. I don't know. We'll see. Is the electro but once you're in turn, you draw until you're four. That's weird. Yeah, artillery would just be better. I don't know. Maybe they just like electro. <laughs> Infinity force for the knockout. Alright. Um. Hmm. Set there. Put that there. We gotta try to hit the red candy. Okay, do I have one of these? Uh, but we can put one. Look at that. And the inner discard. Get the metagas. Get the metagas with the rare candy. Into the metagas. And then we'll use our ability. That's it. I'm sorry I didn't really go over my thought process there. I had the two Matangs. Um, I didn't want to attach or evolve my active because I knew if I hit the Metagross and the Rare Candy, I could take the knockout here. So I already had an energy. I just needed one of the discard. So I, I attached them to the these and, and, and Juniper to hope to get to this situation and everything worked out. So I'm going to be able to take a knockout uh, on the Gardevoir. A big knockout. We can start setting up. We have a lot. We can. Our hands amazing. We have um, supporter. We're looking solid. I mean, this is a favorite matchup for us. But like I said, two of these type of decks made it to. Top eight. Add to Daytona. Card words is good. It's a great card. Um, you're only gonna see more of it, so um, which always helps out my grass. I mean, the more fairies you run into, the better. Um, I don't know how optimal this list is. He's playing the stun players. Who knows? But but these are these are the matchups you gotta run over. You have like when you're in our regionals and you face something this awkward or it just doesn't look right like this Dunsparce doesn't look like it should be played at all maybe I'm wrong maybe I don't know anything but as far as I know this type of card shouldn't be played anything and if you run into something like this you gotta punish it you gotta punish um their bad bad play um we get that nice so Discard both of those. We'll get the third Metagross set up. Let me I just go. No. We'll hit the Juniper for a clean seven, boys. A clean seven. Now we have the energy in our discard pile. Boom. Alright. We can retreat this out. We can just start this loop, because now that we have three metagrasses. 
it's hard, really hard for them to to take a big knockout. Oh, they have to hit for 250 HP. Um, you can always retreat, hit the max potion, and uh, repeat. Yeah. One time, get to there. Let's we'll set up this, and we will kick a hammer for the knockout. Take another prize. Should just be a steamroll from here. Um, there behind. They had this. This is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 60, 180. Like, pretty, really hard for her to take a knockout right here on this Metagross. I think it's almost impossible. With the DC, which is uh, 30, 60, 90, 120. Yeah, I mean, if they could. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. Yeah. With the DC and the uh, 180, 210. Yeah. No, wasn't able to. See, you guys. Oh. Once you get this set up, is it like I've, I think I've done a video on Metagross before in standard. Uh, Metagross, like it runs itself. Um, you get three Metagrosses out, you pretty much won the game. It's really hard for your opponent to take the 250 HP knockouts. Um, you also have stalling options. In, in Expanded, you have stalling options with the Ninetales uh, and the Age of Slash. Um, help you set up quicker. Um, but I, the full picks is so clutch in, in the deck. You you setting up those the metagross of the full picks has got to happen. But yeah, you, you kind of see how it works. Um, it's just like a standard format, but you have these hot texts that really help out the deck. Um, give give it more opportunities to win these tougher matchups. Um, but yeah, that that's it, guys. Um, make sure you check out our sponsor, Collector's Cash. Um, also, check out Dragon Shield. Um, both links will be in the description. Um, Collector's Cash got tons of Shiny Legend stuff. Um, single booster, uh, Elite Trainer boxes, all the all the promo stuff. Um, definitely go um, pick it up. Pick pick one up for yourself. You know. Um, but for now, guys, I'm gonna scoop it up. <laughs>